Mar Dixon, thanks for joining me. You oh, guys, thank you. Pacific FC out here at a misty Starlight Stadium at the moment. You guys are in preseason. Yep. It's exciting. It's exciting. You guys are back for a you know a full season starting at home, mm -hmm. uh, defending champions. Yep. Where's your head at heading into this season, into this preseason right now? Um, I mean, it, everything's positive for me right now. Um, we obviously have a lot of new pieces to the squad, mm -hmm. uh, and it's just a matter matter of us gelling together, finding the chemistry and things like that, and kind of building off last year. We don't need to to dwell on on anything negative at the moment. I think it's all just positive vibes and just see how we can come together as one. Absolutely. I mean, you mentioned there's obviously some changes with this mm -hmm. team, right? Some big players have moved on. You've yeah. got James in as coach now that, that Pa Maduka has moved on. Mm -hmm. How do you guys make sure that you don't really miss a beat? And just for you personally, what's your role as you know captain of this team and making sure that you guys keep that up? My job is just to keep everyone accountable, uh, myself included. Uh, help out with with the coaches with with communication things like that just different feedback that I've noticed um, Because at the end of the day like we're, we're one team right coaching staff players front office We all got to be on the same page But what, what I can control is obviously the locker room uh, and just giving advice to some of the guys that haven't been in this environment yet Right the guys that have been here. They understand what it is. They understand what's expected So we got to help everyone that's new and just bounce ideas off the coaches, staff, and things like that as well. Just if they're taking things in a different way, we just got to clarify things. It's, it's, again, it's a lot of just working together as, as one. Yeah. I mean, obviously, when people leave, new people come in, yeah. right? And there's especially some younger players, I think, coming in this year. So how important is it that you guys have kind of established that culture that players come into? I know a lot of that was established by Pa, but a yeah. lot of it was established by you guys and even by James, who's been here since day one of the club. Yeah, it's, it's always interesting when you have uh, new players that come in. Uh, what I typically like to do, uh, I don't really say much in the first two weeks. I just let the players express themselves, be themselves, whether it's good or bad, uh, because they got to adapt. You know, there's adaptation period and you got to really see who they are. You know, when they train, some things might be good, th some things might be bad, right? But it's a matter of giving them their time and just like, allowing them to make mistakes, allowing them to feel comfortable making mistakes. Sometimes people will get on other players that's just what it is. The standard is high here. You know, we've just won a championship, so people are buzzing at, at all times. But I think uh, after the first two weeks, three weeks, I think now guys are settling in like much better. And we're, we're working here. People are helping each other, and, and, it's, and it's a great start already to the season. So um, I'm definitely pleased with that. Jamar, you personally are going into your third year here at Pacific. Yeah. Ideally, theoretically, the first real normal one, yeah. <laughs> I think, because yeah. we're not starting in a bubble. We're starting yeah. at home. But Obviously, you and your career, you've played all over the world for a ton of different clubs. How have you kind of maybe found a home here at Pacific, sort of settled in here? Well, I don't know if you know this, but um, I played here uh, in 2008. Yeah. So um, for Victoria Highlanders, when they first uh, started as like a semi-pro team, playing the PDL. And I was here for three, three summers. So Victoria has been like a second home to me as well. So when I got the opportunity to come out here, it was kind of a no-brainer, obviously situation in Ottawa happened and it was up and down and I said you know what maybe it's just time to to just make a move for my career and then just see what happens uh, and I think it, it was a great move for me to be honest the league continuously grows every year it's, it's getting better and better better competition better players coming in great youth yeah just just coming out here and, and going after my goals and attaining them and making it happen was one of the, the biggest blessings in, in my career. The move does feel like it's worked out. You guys yeah. won a championship last year. How does that sound to you? Just to, to remember that, you know, you won that. Do you feel well, different as I'll, a champion? Yeah, yes and no. It, it's, it's just, you know, that's why you play the game. Like, the teams in this league, they're not playing to be last place. You know, you, you're always playing to, to win something, to be the best you can be. That's always your goal. It's the whole purpose of, of playing professional sports. You know, you're competitive. So uh, accomplishing a, like that win and getting that championship, I mean, that was my first championship, you know, and it's later on in my career. So it just attests to all the work that I've put in over, over my time. And, you know, it's, it's, it's also not just the individual work as a player, but it's how you interact with your teammates and things like that. All those things play a role in, uh, in the future and how you win a championship. And, and those are things I also have to learn throughout my time, right? Mm -hmm. So it's, um, it was a special win for me, uh, especially coming to this team with a bunch of young players and actually having uh, the ability to help them and, and kind of guide them a bit. It was, 
is from a different perspective, right? But, um, but nonetheless, uh, the win is a win and a championship is a championship, so it's great. Yeah, and the other thing you get is you get to go to the CONCACAF League exactly. right, for winning that. How excited are you guys? For that? Is that something that you guys are talking about? Because, you know, Forge have done it, but yeah. it's your turn. Yeah, it's, it's, it's special, you know. Um, you know, you got to give Forge their flowers. They, they've set a, a great foundation, right, for, for the CPL, and, and now, now it's our, our, our time, right? So we got to we gotta approach it um, the best way we can. I know a lot of us have never been there. Um, but again, you know, I've been to uh, these countries and I know it's, uh, it is a grind, right? So it's just a matter of mentality, focusing on our, our tasks and, and experiencing it, understanding what it really means and, and how you have to deal with certain situations when you're there living it, right? I always say it's, it's one thing to, to get advice from someone, but you have to really be there and experience it for yourself to understand like what you're getting yourself into. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting, but I, I know the guys are excited about it. Yeah, I would think so as well. Mm -hmm. Just lastly, you know, we're sitting here in front of yeah. an empty Starlight Stadium, but it won't be long before it's packed again. Yeah. What are you most excited for about this coming season? Just the, the fans. The fans are unbelievable here. Unbelievable. Um, they're singing the whole game. They're into every play. They're very supportive of us. You know, win, lose, or draw, which is it's crazy. You know, it's, it's good to have that backing, you know. You come here and we really want to win every game at home. Like, yeah. we owe that to these fans. We want to do that for these fans. We want them to enjoy their experience at every game they have. Um, so I think we owe a lot to them. Um, and it's just a special place for us. We come here, we, we beat the Whitecaps here, and it was an amazing game, historic game. And I think we can just bring that same energy day in, day out. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely.